Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be going over my settings. The last time I did a settings video was actually over a year ago, and I've changed a couple things, so I figured I'd update it for you guys. Uh, this first page gameplay, still the same uh, input buffer. I use STS. Uh, I've heard that STS and CSTS are both good for different things. Honestly, I don't really know which one is better. I've just always used STS. A camera settings, this is one of the main things I changed. My old ones were 110, 270, 110, negative 3 but I changed my height from 110 to 90 and angle from negative three to negative five. Uh, camera settings are all preference, but I do think that these settings are like objectively better than my old settings because on my old ones, when I would aerial or when my car was under the ball, like you couldn't see most of my car. You could see like the front of it, but the back end of the car, like you couldn't even see. But with these new settings, I feel a lot cleaner with them. I can see all of my car when I'm going for aerials, so it makes my control a lot better. If you guys use my old settings, definitely give these ones a try because I think these ones are much better. Controls, I still use the same controls. Uh, I'll go over those in a second, but here are my uh, sensitivities and dead zones. Uh, my controller settings, I don't really recommend copying all of my controller settings just because they're not very optimal. It's just what I've used for a long time. But I do have my power slide and air roll on X. If you're going to keep your regular air roll on X, at least change your power slide to like LB, left bumper. But I do have air roll right bounded as r the right bumper, and that's what I use mainly. I don't really use regular air roll that often on X, but there are some occasions where I still use it. But since I do have these settings uh, with power slide and air roll on X, I do end up fat fingering most of my buttons, which is just something I've gotten used to. I would definitely recommend putting power slide on LB if you're going to copy any of my settings. Uh, interface, this is just what I use. I recommend putting your nameplate scale at at least 130. Uh, you can recognize players across the field a lot easier. kind of helps with positioning and trying to figure out where people are. I'd recommend changing your match notifications to time updates only. This makes sure you don't get those little messages saying like nice shot on the center of your screen or wherever it is. I honestly don't remember, but they kind of just get in the way. So definitely change this one. Uh, everything else on here is just preference. These are my video settings. I have my texture detail at high quality, all the other ones at performance. And then I do have high quality shaders on, and I also use lens flares. I just like how they look, but that's just preference. Uh, these are my audio settings. Th those are not that important, but it's also based on how loud your actual computer volume is, like your actual PC volume settings are. But nothing else really to show you guys on this one, uh, but I just figured I'd update my settings because it's been over a year, and I've had some people ask if I still use the same settings, so I just want to make sure you guys know that I did change some things. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, guys! <laughs> Please like and subscribe.